in man, but not God. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 5. Uh -huh. Thus saith the Lord, Cursed be he, cursed be the man that trusteth in man. The Bible said, Cursed be him that trusteth in man. Yeah. What man tell you? Go to church on Sunday. Jesus. Give your offering, and the Most High God will bless you. Give your 10%. That's, that's what man tell you, but God don't tell you that. The God of the Bible tells you to keep his Sabbath day holy. Yeah. The seventh day, which is today, right. not tomorrow. You don't supposed to be in the Christian church tomorrow. Right. You supposed to be keeping God's holy day, which is today. Right. Right. Read it again. Curse. Thus well, saith the Lord. Uh huh. Curse be the man that trusteth in man. Curse be the man that trusted in man. Right. My brother, my brother, right here, bro. I bet you you ain't never seen these signs right here. We got We bring these signs out here for y'all to look at. That's right. Bring it up. Cause look, when you go, when our people go to a library and they see colors and pictures, that stuff attractive. We know what attract our people. Right. We come out here to show you, give you a vis visualization of what we talking about. Right. Come look at the sign, bro. My brother, right here. There you go. Come look at this sign. I want you to tell me something about this sign right here. Who is this guy right here? But you know what they done hear from you? That he looked like the picture that you're looking at over there to your left. That's how the Messiah, your Savior, really looked. And he only came for us. Give me, give me that. Revelation 1. Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. Watch this. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So this is the revealing of Christ. We, we, not come out here to, we didn't come out here to lie. We came out here to tell our people the truth. We could be doing all manner of things on this day. But we come out here to stand in the hot sun so our people can understand. Read. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servant. Uh -huh. Things which must shortly come to pass. Read 14. Now let's see how he look. Read. Verse 14. Uh -huh. His head and his heart. His head and his hairs. Hold up. His head and the hairs on his face. Because you know Christ had a beard. Read. Well, what? Like wool. Like what? Like wool. Like what? Like wool. Like wool. Strike one for this demon over here. Right. Read. As white as snow. As white as snow. Now it's giving you that color. It was white as snow. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his eyes were red, not blue, not green. It says eyes were what? As a flame of fire. Because Christ drunk wine. That's right. Remember, his first mir miracle was at a wedding. He did a miracle in front of all the people and gave everybody wine instead of water. They had water and they water turned to wine. Read on. And his feet like unto fine bread. His feet like what? Like unto fine bread. What, what does bread look like, bro? Bring it up. Exactly. Your color. Read. As if they burn in a furnace. Not just your color, but he was even darker. Look at this brother right here. He's a little bit darker than you. That's why we got that image right there. People see that image and they run. Because Christ ain't no punk. He look like us and we don't look like no punk. Christ is our brother, our savior. Read. And his feet like a so fine brand. Uh -huh. As if they burned in a furnace. As if they burned in the furnace. He was a very dark skinned man. With hair like wool like yours that's on the top of your head. You love God, bro? Would you say you love God? Hey, that's right. Hey, that's right. And that's good because some people lie. Be like, yeah, I love God. That's an honest statement, bro. Right. And that's what we want. We want people to come up and be honest about their dealings in themselves. That's right. Watch this. Let me give you the love of God. I'm going to show you what the love of God is because no church you're going to go into is going to never tell you this, bro. Yeah. We come out here to show you what God say about his thinking by his word to his people, the children of Israel, which you are. Yes, right. You ain't no black man. You ain't no African American. Right. You ain't colored. You ain't Negro. God called you the children of Israel. Yes, right. These people on this sign right here. You see that sign? That those are the people that you descend from. More than likely from the from the tribe at the top right here. The tribe of Judah. Yes, right. 
Read what you got. First John chapter 5, verse 3. Uh -huh. Read out. For this is the love of God. The Bible said that this is the love of God. It's clear. It ain't, ain't no confusion in, the, in this written passage right here. Read. That we keep his commandments. That we do what? That we keep his commandments. So the love of God is that we keep his commandments. Read. Yes. Is that right? And his commandments are not grievous. And his commandments are not what? Grievous. Grievous. You know what grievous mean? Meaning it's not, it's not going to be hard on you. Right. His commandments ain't hard on us. They easy. Right. Some of you, you going to have problems with because we've been raised to do to totally different. Right. Most of these brothers out here from the hood too. But once we realized that we was the chosen people of the Most High God, right. that we ain't niggas that they been lying to us, right. we want to come back to our true identity. That's right. right. And show the world and show our people who we are. That's right. What it say is not grievous. Watch this right here. In the Christian church, the women walk up in there with pants on. The Bible said don't do that. What? The men shave their face, cut their hair ball. The Bible said don't do that. Wow. This stuff ain't hard to do. Just let your hair grow. Just don't shave your beard. Right. You, can, you can edge it up, make it look neat. But the Bible said we shouldn't shave it off. Right. Watch this. I'm going to give you a number. Give me Corinthians chapter 11. Watch yep. this. Something that's real easy. Bring it out, I Watch this right here. First Corinthians chapter eleven, verse three. Uh -huh. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So the head of us, men, every man is who? Is Christ? Is Christ? He's our head. Read. And the head of the woman is the, the man. And the head of the woman is the what? Is the man. So there's woman, man, Christ, and the head of Christ. It's God. So Christ got a head, which is who? God. Read. Every man praying or prophesying. Every man praying or prophesying. Prophesying is what we're doing right now. Right. We're reading out of the script scriptures, telling our people what is and what's to come. Right. Read. Having his head covered. So every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered. Do what? Dishonor of his head. Dishonor of his head. So right now you're in the midst of prophecy. Read again, every man what? Every man praying or prophesying. Uh-huh. Having his head covered. This honor of his head. It said every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, this honor of his head. Give me Revelation 19:10. So watch this right here. Revelation chapter 19 and verse 10. So, so your head is covered right now, right? So right now you're in the midst of prophecy. Watch this read. And I fell at his feet to worship him, and uh -huh. he said unto me, uh -huh. See thou do it not. Uh -huh. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren. They have the testimony of Jesus. Uh -huh. Worship God. Right. For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. This is the spirit of prophecy that you're standing in. Right. So right now you should do what? Take your head off. All praise to the Most High. That's a, now, go back to 1 John 5 and 3. Yeah. 1 John chapter 5 the verse 3. Of you, bro. Three. For this is the love of God, uh -huh. that we keep his commandments. You love God more than you think you do. Right. Right. You love God more than the people in the Christian church. Because right. what? They've been taught lies and they following lies. They don't even want to hear the truth. That's right. They don't even want to hear it. They said they, they hear it and said, no. That's what you think. That's, right. That's what God said. That's right. That ain't what we think. We right. read the Bible right. to the people and give true understanding right. to the people, whether they hear for birth. Yeah. So you love God stronger than you think you do. Right. You know why? Because the Most High God placed His people as gods on earth. Right. You already a God. Right. You're just living as a heathen. Get that for me right quick, and then I'm gonna show you something. Yeah. Get that for me right quick. So you won't think that we just up here talking. But God said that about his people. The book of Psalms chapter 82 and verse 6. Uh -huh. I have said, ye are God. We are what? Ye are God. You be hearing people say, oh, I'm a God. They don't know how true it is. But, read. I have said, ye are God. Uh-huh. And all of you are children of the Most High. All of us are children of the Most High. The children of the twelve tribes of Israel. Read. But ye shall die like men. But our people out here dying like regular people. 
we die like the heathens, the Arabs, the uh, Chinese, the Japanese, the white man, the African. We die like regular people, read. And fall like one of the princes. And fall like one of the princes. What, are the, what is a prince? He a lower state from a king. We fall like him. So our people got greatness in us, but we just don't know it. Because we, we are not keeping the commandments of the Most High God. That's right. That's the only reason that we fall like we do. So watch this. I, I want I want to show you something else, but before that, I'm gonna show you how you really an Israelite. Cause we said it. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28. Bring it up. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. it but it shall come to pass if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Do you know anything about the Bible? So you know who Moses is. So Moses in the land of Egypt, you know, he told Pharaoh that God said, let my people go, right? Now, this is after they left there walking through the Red Sea on dry land. The Most High God shut down the water on the Egyptians. Remember that? All right, so then they got on the other side of Jordan. This is what God told Moses to tell the children of Israel. All these people on this side right here, read what you got. But it shall come to pass if thou would not hearken. Unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So, if we don't do all God's commandments, all these curses going to come on us and overtake us. Yeah, yeah. Meaning we ain't going to be able to get rid of these, these curses. No matter where we go, we can go to Egypt, we can go to uh, uh, Ghana, Africa. We can go to Libya. We can go to Ireland. We can go to Switzerland. And these curses gonna chase us because we the children of Israel who disobeyed God's law. That's, That's right. right. That's what the Bible just said. Read on. Curse shall I be in the city. The Bible said, Curse shall the Israelites be in the city. Now, let's see if that's true about a certain particular people. Where you from? You from Mississippi? Our people, excuse me, our people in Mississippi live at one time way worse than the people live in Memphis. And I got family down there. The dirt roads. Yeah. Like one of the last modernized <laughs> cities in, in the U.S. You know what I'm saying? That's a curse. But then it wasn't just us there. It was white people there. But the way we was living was at the bottom of the bowl. You know what I'm saying? So it said, curse what? Curse shall I be in the city. So in every city though that you look at, Chicago, New York, LA, Nebraska, Nevada, every city that you live in that we in, we in a ghetto. Wherever you, wherever city you go to and you find a ghetto, who you find? What people? Our people. Living in the worst condition place. But when you go to Cordova, Collierville, Germantown, it's nice. It's us that live in the poverty parts of the cities. So it said, curse shall we be in the cities. Read. Curse shall I be in the city. Uh-huh. And curse shall I be in the field. Hold this sign up, soldier sound. It said, curse shall we be in the cities and curse shall we be in the fields. You from Mississippi. Look at the bottom of that sign. Raise it up a little bit, bro. Who was who was picking cotton? In the fields. Us. Hold on. This didn't the curses go for the children of Israel. This didn't happen to nobody else. The way the curses are laid out never happened to another nation of people. It happened to us. That's right. We are the children of Israel. Yeah. That's why we tell you that's who you are. It was us in the field. Even the babies, five, six, seven years old, as soon as they was loud enough, I mean old enough to run and walk, they were old enough to get in the field. They would give us lashes for not bringing enough. Yeah. Our babies. All right, you can put it down, read on. Curse shall be thy basket and thy store. The Bible said, curse shall be our basket and our stores. Where are our stores at? 
But then the Arab come over here, the Chinese man come over here and got gold in China. No. We've been over here for 400 years. Right. But they come over here and get gold in China. The Arab man come over here and get beauty and beyond. Just wireless. Cash America. That's what they get. Read. Curse shall be thy basket and thy store. Curse shall be thy basket and thy store. Basket. What you put in the basket? Items. Your goods. Right? But it said curse shall be. Because where are our items at? Where are the stuff that we possess as our, as our own? We don't possess much. Everything we possess, where everything we get, somebody else owns it. It's not ours. So our possession shall be cursed. Right. Give me verse 32. Verse 32. I got you, bro. Thy sons and thy daughters. The Bible said the children of Israel's sons and daughters, what? Shall be given unto another people. Hold that sign back up for me, Sam. It's like our sons and daughters shall be given unto another people. Yep. Who did happen to? It's visual. Can't help but know it. It happened to us. They put our men up on the auction block. 20, 30, 40 sold to yep. Master Charles in West Virginia. <laughs> right? Right? Right here. They sold our babies. They took they stripped the babies from mothers and fathers' hands. That happened to the children of Israel. That's right. Right? Read. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Uh huh. And thine eyes shall look and fare with longing for them all the day long. Roots. I know you seen roots. What that lady do? She just cried and cried. That's what the scripture say. It said thine eyes shall what? Look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Shall look and fail with longing for them. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.